And we are back. Established in 2006, the Kaplan Leadership Program has been instrumental in supporting high potential, low income and underrepresented community college students as they complete their associate's degrees and transfer to prestigious four-year schools. We've got sharing with us now the Kaplan Leader Scholar at Kaplan Educational Foundation, Tiffany Garcia. Tiffany, good to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. So you got a great journey that you've had with Kaplan. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so I want to say that it's been really transformational. Like I started off as this really timid scholar with hugely ambit ambitious goals, but I really didn't have any mentorship on how to achieve it. Mm -hmm. And this is when the Kaplan Leadership Program really came in and they stepped it up for me. So they helped me with everything from academic advising to career planning, and they always taught me to dream bigger. So the small dreams that I had, not only did they try to enforce that they're very much possible, but they're also backing me in, in, in any way that they can. Yeah. For you having that kind of resource and having that kind of help, how much of a difference maker is that for you in the life of a student? It was tremendous. So on top of dreaming big, which is their hu huge slogan, huge mm -hmm. motto of theirs, um, they also really taught us to give back to the community in any ways that we could. And academically speaking, if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have been in the same playing field as my peers when I transferred. So I had transferred up to Wellesley and with all of their resources and their tips, I really leveled the playing field and I could compete with some of the greatest um, peers that I've had. So. That transition from Borough Manhattan Community College to Wellesley, how was that? Oh, it was super, super um, intense, mm -hmm. writing the applications and everything. But ultimately, because of their guidance, their academic advising, I was able to not only secure really astounding essays and research to school, but I was also able to partake in different um, type of leadership programs at Wellesley. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you made this transition I want to talk about. So you had this mm -hmm. transition where you're really dealing with luxury retail analysis. Yeah. <laughs> and so all of a sudden now you decide that you want to go to product services, correct? Correct, yeah. And finance and product services, I should, be, I should say. Yeah. What was the reason for the transition? Yeah, so when I graduated Wellesley, and this was post-pandemic, mm -hmm. so I was, Kaplan's always been very big on be open to different types of opportunities, and life is very non-linear. So because of that, I was applying to different types of internships, and they liked me enough to gi not give me an internship, but give me a full-time position. And I thought, as a first-gen Latina from the Bronx, when am I ever going to get this opportunity again? I have to take it. Scared, and scared I was, but right. I was like, I have to take it. Um, I did that. I learned a lot. I got to translate in Spanish. I got to work with legal teams and work with some of the greatest luxury brands, Italian and French, that I've known and only heard of, have he had heard of. Mm -hmm. But um, ultimately, when I th thought about the impact that I wanted to have and the kind of impact that I wanted to have through my career, I started to think, well, I think what I would feel better in is supporting the communities that I come from and the communities that I represent, like the Bronx, like first-gen students of color, and also trying to figure out a way to develop my passion for financial literacy. Mm -hmm. So I realized halfway through that finance was always an interest of mine, but that's really where I see all of my passions being at the intersection. So I thought, okay, financial planning is definitely something that I'm super excited about. I'm super into, I'm a big fan of um, financial literacy. And I'm so excited to see the next wave of like first gen students become first gen professionals. Because I hope at that moment I can grab them and help them really achieve their financial goals. Right. Yeah. And right now you've got a transition as well into UBS. And I want to talk a little bit about Kaplan and how that really has helped to get you to where you are today uh, in your current role at UBS. So for somebody who doesn't know, tell, explain what are you doing at UBS now? Yeah, so I just secured a rotational program at UBS. I'll be working out of the Weehawken office. And I'm so excited for this to be my second rotation, but Kaplan has always, once again, like been super adamant about being open to different types of opportunities. And I do think that the opportunity at UBS is coming exactly at the right moment. Mm -hmm. And Kaplan, with their career advising and their professional advising too, um, and knowing that financial services is something that I want to pursue, I'm super excited about becoming an expert in the field. And I'm going to be able to do that with UBS's resources. So getting the licenses, the certifications, and the hands-on training that I need to become an expert and give back to the community. Yeah. At, at what point do you feel like, OK, uh, in your professional journey now, and you look back at the experience with Kaplan and say, oh, this is really kicking in right now. I, <laughs> I, I, got, I, got, this, I got this information with Kaplan. This is really kicking in over here. 
I think a part of it was the networking skills. Mm -hmm. Like they really pushed leadership and professional development. So anything from guest lecturers to networking skills to having the confidence to set up an informational interview, it really helped me once I arrived at Wellesley. And I was actually able to help first gen first years who were living on my dorm, who had no idea what they were doing. And I was able to take a few of them on and tell them like, hey, you know, Kaplan Educational Foundation has taught me X, Y, and Z. I'm scared that if I don't tell you this, you're gonna miss the mark and you're gonna go through your post-secondary education without really developing the skills. And I love that form of like infor informally mentoring because so many people have done it for me. Mm -hmm. And if I could base a whole career around it, like I, I, that's exactly what I wanna do with financial planning. So I'm really excited about making financial literacy a lot more accessible for these students of, of color. Yeah, so the journey continues and uh, you're excited about it? Very excited. I'm so excited to, life has been a lot about transitions for me right. from Kaplan to growing up in the Bronx. And the more I think about how the Bronx has set me up and has made me a stronger person, I'm really excited to give back and to con continue to mentor people and also just pave the way for different scholars that are coming in just as past scholars paved the way for me. Yeah. And when you see where you are right now, you know, you look back and say, wow, did you ever think you'd be sitting where you are right now? Definitely not, especially <laughs> not in the way that it happens. I mean, going through a rotational program in Europe with really prestigious brands really gave me the confidence to pursue what I'm pursuing now and to be confident in saying I can do exactly what I do um, in a different field mm -hmm. and to give back, to become an expert and just to provide some guidance to people who are lost, just like I was once lost. Yeah, and I know we talked off camera, like you spent time in, in uh, Madrid yeah. Right. Talk to us about what the, I mean, Barcelona, right? I'm Barcelona sorry. and Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. Hey, we just, <laughs> our last guest is traveling to Madrid, <laughs> but you're going, you came from Barcelona. Talk to me about the Barcelona experience and how that actually shapes you as not just, you know, a, a, a world or a world class individual in terms of the work that you do. Yeah. So being the analyst of Spain um, with the Bister Collection, which is like a luxury shopping centers all over Europe and China. So straight out of college this was my first job and i was in charge of two shopping centers the one in madrid and the one in barcelona so it definitely it definitely leveled um it upgraded my skills in the sense of like not only did i have to bilingually translate across english and spanish but i had to work with colleagues all over europe mm -hmm. i had to be able to sit in the same room as the director of spain and give my opinions and to be able to advocate to my team that certain movements that we had to do were critical for the ultimate long-term goals of the of the company and I think back today and I I'm so proud that I took that opportunity even though I was scared out of my mind mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't sure what I doing what I was doing because now it's led up to this point and it's given me a clearer understanding of what I want to pursue and how I'm gonna go on forward pursuing that well I want to congratulate you it's been awesome just to hear a little bit about your journey and really to see where you are in leadership and how things are planning out you've got your career as a financial planner giving it back to the community yeah. And so we'll be looking forward to you coming back, yeah. sharing some tips and For helping sure. us out. Uh, and uh, great congratulations. Thank you so much. It's going to be great to have you. Likewise. All righty. Now, listen, if you want more information, we want you to visit KaplanEdFoundation.org. Encourage you don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more open coming up right after this.